Hey everybody, we are in a 2021 BMW X7, getting ready for a dealer trade trip to pick up a customer's new M5. So I get to enjoy the comfort of an X7. These are a dream to drive. They move very quickly, like responding to inputs really quickly. Um, they don't feel or drive as big as they are so smooth got a harman Kardon sound system to enjoy on my trip and apple carplay that's wireless dual zone climate control heated and cooled seats heated steering wheel let's go so in route to our destination to pick up the m5 enjoying some features on the new x7 as you can see they put the display for the map right in your cluster there and then also it will display in the head up screen head up display screen there all in full color if you look here at the top those flashing lights are going to be your sensors for if you feel fatigue or start to get drowsy it'll remind you of pulling over or taking a break so that's pretty cool technology in the BMW X7 seats yes please also throughout this cabin you've got this Alcantara like a suede finish on the headliner all the way back and it's a dark finish which reduces kind of a, a glare from outside of the cabin or you know a different contrast might affect your eyes and vision out of the cabin but this is really nicely done in 900 feet turn right all right so we made it to our destination in Naperville Illinois to pick up our M5 for our client and before I get out of this nice X7, I'll show you a couple of other features on the interior just to show you how accessible and easy to use the back seat is. Now you can get a bench here in the back seat, but uh, most people prefer the buckets. Let's get back. For your rear or second row occupants, you have all kinds of uh, conveniences. Power outlets, here's a spot to... to Put a hanger on for your suit. You've got ventilation, climate control, heated seats, more charging, and more uh, access to power outlets. Put those all the way down if you like, or for your preferred arm length. I could skip right through here and show you the back seat. Again, you have access to charging, cup holders, and a little bigger seat than you have in the X5, so accommodations are nice that way. They've got LED lighting back here for ambiance. This is a pre-out for having the cargo cover back here. And again, here is that nice black Alcantara throughout the cabin. If you see how big that moonroof is to let in a lot of light. And then up top here, I've got ventilation too for third row passengers and heated seats. And then vents to accommodate air conditioning. So that's the interior of the X7. Let's go get that M5. So 
here's what we're picking up for a friend of mine. M5. I just love the way these, these LEDs post. They look so good and vibrant. Alright, BMW M5 back to Crystal Lake. BMW, take me to BMW Crystal Lake. I have found several destinations. Which one should I select? Please proceed to the highlighted route. Just checking in. Uh, the difference between this ride and the X7 is, of course, day and night. This is a race car setup, so you got a super tight suspension, near 50 50 weight distribution gobs of power and I've yet to turn on the radio because it's so much more nice to listen to the engine sounds doing my best to get this back nice and neat avoiding potholes or sewer covers but this is a nice office for today <laughs> crackle back there and you can always turn that off in case you don't want it to be obnoxious or you're at a fancy place and don't want that but when you're at the track one selection will open up the valves back there for the exhaust and give you the better more racy sound out of the exhaust now this is an all-wheel drive m5 and this is 600 horsepower you can opt for the m competition package which is an additional 17 horsepower but my client figured he wouldn't use that so I won't be doing any heavy pulls there's a break-in period for the M vehicles that BMW has it's about 1400 miles call it 1500 miles before you want to let it creep into red line area for RPMs and things like that so that's uh, important to note on these M vehicles The other thing I thought of on these M vehicles, well BMW in general makes some of the best brakes in the industry and on these M vehicles it's even better. So just to remind yourself if you are driving one and you plan to apply the brakes, maybe give the people behind you a heads up just by giving a little step and illumination of the back brake lights because these do stop on a dime. So just good advice keeping your vehicle safe you safe and then the people in front and in back of you disrespecting the machine so now we've made it to our destination BMW Crystal Lake and we're gonna get this car ready for delivery this beautiful M5 Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for taking a quick look at some of the things that I do in regards to dealer trades and BMW performance vehicles. Click the like button, hit subscribe, and please feel free to ask any questions that you have for automotive related information that I can provide. Thanks a lot, safe travels to you and your family, and have a great day.